Well, we're going to do a spark plug clean again with that uh, ultrasonic cleaner. And I'm going to put a lot of this awesome in here. There's Panda Cat down there. Meow, meow. <laughs> and uh, I know this number eight spark plug. This has always been kind of dirty. Well, they're all dirty. You know what it is? Because it's, it's a lot of short trips. And I stalled out when I was at the dump the last time and had restarted. I said, wait a minute, this thing. I got some other spark plugs laying around for this, um, iridiums, um, but I'm not going to put them in until I start doing some of the other stuff on it. I figure I'm going to clean these because the electrodes on them are still really good. So, we're going to dump a bunch of, this time I'm going to put more than a few ounces of awesome cleaner in there. Are you okay, little guy? He's a nervous cat. Eh. <laughs> That's more than a few ounces. That's more than a few ounces. So, uh, put the heater on, put this thing on 30 minutes, and I think we got some spark plugs up here. Alright, click this bitch on. See that? Cat ran away. <laughs> you got dirt coming off of there. We'll do a couple runs with this, maybe three, Let's see what happens. I bet you it's, uh, I tried that, I tried this out a couple times with just one spark plug on a chainsaw. I figured, what the hell? And on this, carb. I'm going to dump some starting fluid down here. Let it soak. Because, um, it's a better cleaner than carb cleaner. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to do that with two hands. Okay, I shot some starting fluid down there, so just it melts stuff better than gum out or carb cleaner. And, um, you okay? <laughs> Panda cat. Anyway, Dixie air horns. They're still working. <laughs> well, I had a pee feed Panda cat on the roof, man. <laughs> well, we're cooking up this, uh, you know, stuff in here for the spark plugs I'm going about 23 minutes on an old confederate freaking 78 Chevy yeehaw well that's the first run through with the uh, ultrasonic cleaner I actually hit them with the uh, drill and the wire brush a little bit too because uh, the water was so dirty from the outside of the plug being dirty and we're going to run it through again with uh, this time with vinegar and the awesome cleaner and I think that porcelain insulator on the inside is actually going to come out almost pure white which means these will function like pretty much like brand new plugs um, because the electrodes aren't worn out I got some new iridium audio lights auto lights but I'm not putting them in until I start doing some other work on this engine so get that thing going let's see what happens with this um, you know, another thing is probably uh, might want to do the, the old demon carb with this thing because that carburetor's probably all fouled up. <laughs> but I like this thing, man, because I never really thought of using it for a lot of these parts like this. And um, man, it cleans the crap out of them. Like where you can't do this by hand, it's like impossible. You know, you could spray some starting fluid on it, use a wire brush, blow them out with air. But I'm doing that too. Besides this. Uh, that ultrasonic cleaner with this with this stuff with some white vinegar man this stuff is some potent junk man well here's all eight plugs and um, you can see the porcelain came out pretty white on these things right almost pretty far down here too now if I would have left them in there one more time they'd probably be like brand spanking new like perfectly white all the way down but they're definitely clean enough that they're going to function just about like this is the dirtiest one this is probably plug number eight the one that was down here even that you can see it's like um, it's like tan tan color porcelain that's the worst one this is another one that was kind of dirty might have been um, six and eight down here on this side but most of them are they're not even dirty though they're not bad 
that did a hell of a job on it actually I'm gonna save that water because there's a lot of awesome cleaner in there and uh, it's not extremely dirty if I ran it through a couple more times it would probably get those like perfectly white like brand spanking new because I did that before on a spark plug for the chainsaw and I said man this is a cool method to do this thing but uh, I'm gonna put my Harley plugs in here and the other chainsaw plug in here too and uh, clean them up later but I gotta get going on this thing and uh, deliver my tree branches up there <laughs> fill them up again before they close up and we put a little bit of um, marine grease on these threads when we install them so you know the plugs come out of the heads usually you don't have a problem because these are you know cast iron heads they're not aluminum heads but I always put a little grease on there if you're using aluminum heads you want to make sure you put um, anti-seize and if there's aluminum heads don't take these plugs out I'm just throwing this video and throwing this in this video don't take these plugs out when they're hot in aluminum heads because the aluminum span expands more than the steel and you can strip them out a lot of people don't know that you know you want to take them out when they're cold if they're in aluminum heads like you know the problem here just you got to watch you don't burn yourself on the exhaust manifold but this uh, ultrasonic cleaner a pretty damn good job man it's pretty good I'm probably gonna emery this a little bit too make sure it's really clean and get it with the pocket knife on the electrode and uh, it should start right the hell up real good